Hey guys, this is Eric saint for Eric saint Fitness. So in this video, I will be talking about stretching. So I'll show you three types of stretch, and then I'll come back and tell you how you can do them, and um, when you should do them, when they are gonna be more beneficial for you in your workout or in your improving your range of motion. So stay tuned, I'll be showing you a stretch right now. All right guys, so I'll cover three kinds of stretches. Static stretches, dynamic stretches, and contract relax, or we can call it as well PNF. And for this, I'll show you, I'll show the stretch with the hamstring. So the static stretches, there's two, two kinds of static stretch I can, I'll show you for the hamstring. The first one, bend your knees, straight back, stick your butt out, hand on your knees, and you want to extend your knees while keeping your butt out. So you want to create a hyperlordosis in your lower back. If you go and your back round, round up, because your hands are tight and they're, they're creating a pull. So you want to fight against, against that pull. So straight back, butt out, extend. When you feel that you're starting to round your back, you want to wait there and you hold it there. You can hold this for like 30 seconds. Another stretch for the hamstring, we'll do one like this. <clears throat> so you just put your legs straight, if you can put it straight, you might be not fle be flexible enough, so you might have to just bend it a bit. So what you want, I'll show it with a straight leg. So what you want, just lean forward. I see, I'm starting to feel a stretch now. I'll show you the other side, so. <clears throat> so you see, again, butt sticking out, not like this, okay? Butt sticking out, now I go for a stretch. When I start feeling the stretch, I'm gonna just hold it there. When I say start to feel a stretch, you wanna go on a scale for zero to 10, you wanna go around four or five. So that's just a little bit of pain, but you can resist it. You don't wanna go on eight, nine, 10. It's like, anyway, it's gonna be way too painful, and your muscle is never gonna let go. It's gonna feel this, this, this pull as a threat, so you're just gonna hold it for its life. So just go like this, and hold it there. So that was two static stretches for a hamstring. Now I'll show you a dynamic, I'm sorry, I'll go with the PNF first. I'll go with the PNF or contract relax stretch. So use the same position. Straight leg, or as straight as you can, but sticking out. And what I'll do now, I go to that four, I will reach that four or five out of 10, little stretching pain I feel. All right, I'm here now, I feel it. My butt is still sticking out, I'm not rounding. Now, what I'll do, I'm gonna push with my heel in the ground. How I do that? I, push, I wanna push like this in the ground, but at the same time, I try to pull. So it's like a dual, dual action now. I want to push down and then pull at the same time. So, once again, straight back, butt sticking out. Leg as straight as, straight as you can. Go feel the four or five out of 10. And now, as I inhale, I activate. Push on the floor and then pull at the same time. So inhale, do the dual action. And exhale. Just relax everything. What a contract relax. When you inhale, you get to the position. You inhale, contract your muscle with that push on the floor. And then when I relax, I try to gain a few more degrees. So let, let's say I would be like, I would be here, okay? I will inhale, contract the muscle, push on the floor. And as I exhale, I try to just get a few more degrees. Get a few more degrees, stay there. Contraction again, inhale, exhale, try to get a bigger range. And you, you, you won't get all the way down to the floor, but you'll see, you'll get a few more degrees through your stretch. 
I would say for this, go between five and ten, ten breaths, full breath. Inhale and exhale for the PNF contract relax stretch. Now, the dynamic stretch. <clears throat> We've all seen this guy in the gym. I see sometimes people getting ready to run. They do this one. I mean, that's, I mean, there's two things with this one. You might hurt yourself, and you're creating wind more, more than you're stretching. This, first you start way too fast, and you go, what? if the bottom leg goes like this, you see my, my pelvis is tucking in. So, so that means the, the hamstring, he, he gets to the end range, and he's just going to contract, you know? He doesn't want to let go, so everything compensates. So what I'd like you to do, then stand tall, start slowly and low. Just get the muscle used to it. See, I don't feel a stretch now. And then, a little bigger. And you increase the range like this, and the speed. See, I still, I just feel a tiny stretch at the end. Again, the, the stretch I feel, I'll go for like a four or five out of 10. So there you go. That was a hamstring stretch. I'll show you a static stretch, a two static stretch for the hamstring. I'll show you one dynamic, um, sorry, two static stretch for the hamstring, one contract relax or PNF stretch, and I'll just show you the dynamic stretch for the hamstring as well. So let me get back to you. I'll talk to you about how long you should hold it, when you should, when you should do it before training, after training, during training. All right, stay tuned, guys. So let's talk about before, during, and after training stretches. Before training, you could do any stretches, static, contract relax, or dynamic. But there's a way of doing it. I'm sure you've heard, maybe you didn't, but it's been, it's been around, like you don't do static stretch, you don't hold long static stretch before training, you, could, you, you put your muscle to sleep, you might hurt yourself. Of course, if you hold that static stretch I was showing you <coughs> for the hamstring for like, I don't know, let's say a minute, two minutes, and then you just get up and start running, of course you're gonna hurt yourself. I mean, anybody with a little bit of common sense won't do that. So what I suggest, if you like to do static stretch is if this is something that feels good for you that gets gets you get help gets you a bigger range of motion for you the, the sport or the training you, you're gonna do go ahead and do the static stretch but I would say don't hold them more than I would say go between 30 and 60 seconds that should be enough once you've done all your static stretch I would then move slowly into the dynamic stretch so Again, you do the static stretch I show you for the hamstring, and then whew, you just start moving your leg, warm it up, and then you you kind of wake up the nervous system and the muscle. They get you get everybody ready for a quick contraction that will happen in your sport in or in your training. If you want to do contract relax stretches before training, these are fine, no problem. And the dynamic stretches, same thing. As long as you respect. The, what I, I showed you earlier, start small and slow to slowly get bigger and bigger and faster and faster. Always be smart, you don't need to, there's no contest of who lifts his foot higher. I mean, it could be a contest by me, there's no point of doing this and go hurt yourself before training. So, what I usually recommend I have my client do if they, we need to stretch before um, a training, I have them do a contract relax. Most of the time, it's a contract relax I use. When I use contract relax, like I said earlier, I go, I use it, I, I, I use it with breath. So I do five to ten breath for every position, every muscle we we want to uh, stretch. If you feel like, let's take the hamstring again. If you feel like, let's say your right hamstring is tighter than the left one. So what you'll do, let's let's say with the left one, go with five breath. With the right one, go with ten. You want double. On the tight side. Good. And as for the dynamic, 
there's no really set time I, could, I can give you for that. Just go as long until you feel, you feel good. You feel you, you got the, the full range that you you wanted to, you wanted to gain with your stretch. So before training, if you want a static stretch, 30 to 60 seconds max. If you want to go contract relax, between five and ten um, breath, meaning inhale, exhale. And if you want to go dynamic stretch, go until you reach the range of motion you wanted to reach. During training, static stretch during training not recommended because you must you must so you don't want to sit down or I mean stretch for a long time and go do a contraction. So during training, I would either do just a few contract relax or dynamic. You, you finish uh, benching or doing push up, you can just do a few of these, you know, just open. You, you don't want your arm back, you're gonna, you're gonna tear your pec, you know. So just nice and slow, you can get a stretch in your, um, in your pec. You wanna get your tricep, oh, just go like this. Inhale, exhale, and you get a little bit stretch on your tricep. So during training, no static, go for a contract relax or mostly dynamic stretching. After training, now it's time after training for a cool down. So now it's a good time for the static stretch. And if you do static stretch after training, then hold it, you can go up to like a minute or two. I mean, if you feel good for two, three minutes, fine. No really good point to go like three, four, five, ten minutes. I mean, I, I, I don't see why you would benefit holding a stretch for so long. So after training, go between anywhere between one and two minutes for a static stretch. You can do contract relax after training, but if you want to go get a cool down after your training, you'll get it more from the static stretching. What I recommend to people that really want to gain a lot of flexibility is you do your static stretch right before bed. So you really take the time to do the static stretch, a minute, two minutes max, and then when you go to bed, your, your, your muscle will, will go to sleep, your body will go to sleep with your muscle in a elongated, in a stretched state. So that's, that's gonna, and your body at night does body repair. Muscle repair usually happens between 10 and 2 in the morning. That's where the, the whole body, the physical repair happens. So this will repair into a stretch state and you, you'll, get, you'll gain more flexibility if you do your static stretch at night right before bed. So one thing I would like to remind you again, when you go for a stretch, it's either static, contract relax, or dynamic, you always want to go no more than a 5 out of 10 in a pain, stretch pain scale. If you go too high, like I told you, muscle will, will feel that as a, as a, um, a threat. Your muscle doesn't know when you're just swinging your leg, you know. He, he thinks it's gonna, if he just let, let go, it's gonna rip. So it's gonna, it's gonna hold the contract so tight that it's never one let go. So that's why, that's why you want to go four, five out of ten. Then you, you'll be able to like trick your muscle to just relax and feel the stretch. One last thing, breathing. Breathing is so important when you stretch. If you do a static stretch, when you hold your breath like that, it's not gonna help. You wanna do deep breathing, nice inhaling through your nose, stomach first, then your chest, and breathe through your mouth. And you wanna go in a relaxed mood. That's gonna help with your stretch as well. So, I hope this video helped you for your stretches. And uh, if you like it, please, I'd, I'd like some, for you to comment on my videos and share it on any social media that you think would be good. So guys, have nice stretching. See you next time.